So with that being said, let's talk about sin. Let's jump right back into that really quick. Why does homosexuality to appear to be the number one sin when all sins are the same? Because it's the most visible. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, but it's the yeah, most yeah. popular in the yeah, church. No, I can't even say that either. I can I can definitely say I feel like I don't think it's I don't think it's the most talked about thing. I think it is the most recognizable. Mean when I say recognizable, meaning that everybody want to be like I am, or people are being judged according to that more than anybody else. What I mean by that, even in the secular world, it is a universal thing. It is a universal situation, no matter what platform you're on. It's just like being black at one time. It was just like women's rights at one time. Think about it. Women are women just now starting to be able to be pastors comfortably. But now homosexuality is what is being seen, is what is being talked about, is what is being because it's always it's always been there. It's always been in the choir stand. It's always been in service. It's always been in situations. But now that is is on the is on the universal side of the constitutional side of okay, let's talk about rights. Let's talk about what they are, they can have, what they can't have, or what we consider outside of church, what we consider good and bad. Now it's like okay, it's a bad thing. It's negative. Is this? Is that? But ain't nothing changed in the church. The church has always felt the way it felt. That's why back in the day you couldn't say a lot about it. But now everybody, as we talk about, everybody's gotten bolder. Well, if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody down with me. Because it's no longer a thing of what's mine is mine, what's my business my business. Social media has let it be known that I can share with everybody who's going to stop me because then I show your DMs. You know, this, the idea of homosexuality and why is this seem to be the biggest sin probably is cultural. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't, um, a lot of churches will focus on homosexuality. I think it's, again, it, it's, it's that one, it's that one thing that you, ne no one really says, oh, I'm a gay man, I'm lesbian mm -hmm. in a church, but you have married women and men and what have you. So adultery is not something that you're going to really have someone talk about a lot because Probably no one wants to step on all those toes. There's a lot of mad for the folk in church. Not too many people are homosexual and out and happy in the church, so it's an easy target because people are already hiding. Exactly. If, you, if, I, if I don't have to actually face someone knowing what they're going through, it's easy for me to talk about that sin and to prop it up. And I think, again, to, to go back to cultural, I think the black community has this very weird obsession with homosexuality, what does it matter if X man or woman is dating someone of the same sex if they're not harming anyone? Why is that now so big of a sin, especially in the black church, that you neglect everything else? You're judging them, but saying that oh, because they're homosexuality, that's your sin, and we're we're all infallible up here. Um, the black community has just this almost. Um, a sexual kind of a connotation to being homosexual. Why are you all so worried about that? Let Mr. Man and, and Miss Lady over here do what they do. They are still children of Christ. God did not put a restriction on anyone. You might say, oh, that's some a, a, a sin that he wrote down that we ought to avoid. But did he shun anyone? No. Most of these churches, oh, you can't be, that's a conversion therapy. God didn't do none of that foolishness. That's all man. What are you talking about? We can love on them and maybe, hopefully, they'll change. I don't know. I'm, I, that's, not, that's not my business. You do what you do. Um, because I don't believe I'm going to be able to speak for your salvation when we die. I don't necessarily care what you are. Um, but I think this, the black church really needs to focus on, let's just get back to community. You know, we're sitting here fighting all these demons out in the world because from the Supreme Court overturning all kind of stuff. Next, they'll be saying that interracial marriage is, is, is no longer a, a thing. Then they'll be saying that black folks shouldn't be able to vote anyway because we're inferior. Well, I don't, you could be gay all you want. That has nothing to do with my life. It does not make my world move or stop. But I guarantee you, me being profiled on the street corner for walking and being a black man, yes, that does impact me. I don't care about your homosexuality or, or whatever your sexuality is. Or if you're just asexual, I don't care. But the black community loves to harp on 
especially black men, and really have no idea why. Why? Probably because of social, because of uh, the society says black men are supposed to be the strong brute, and how dare you see with other men because then you're emasculated. Black men can't drink milkshakes. We can't eat hot dogs. You can't. You, you all this stuff. Think about social media. Every time you look around, people say, "Oh, that's gay." Are they sleeping with the same? Do you see them in a bed with another man? How is that gay for me to just live my life? And because you don't see me with a bunch of women, or see some, a man with a bunch of women, or this woman with a bunch of men, oh, they must be. No, I'm just existing, and you happen to be in the way. That's all. Good perspective. Uh, I don't. Me personally, I don't see it as the big sin. Because the reason why I take myself out of those um, unnecessary arguments, like it really doesn't matter to me. Sin is sin. That part. We as humans, we we put categorize sin, but the Bible say ain't none of us going if we do A, B, C, D. You know, like it ain't just homosexuals. It's liars, adulterers, fornicators, um, those who just slothful, lazy. You know, it, it's a whole list. Perverted people, everything that won't enter in. I don't feel like. You know, it's the biggest sin. But is it talked about? It has to be. And honestly, I want to be in, in a ministry that focuses on everything. Don't just point out one. Let's call it all out. Because I'm going to call a spade a spade. It don't really matter to me. Mm -hmm. Because my thing is, I'm not going to not talk to you because you practice this sin. Because let's just be real. Maybe you didn't want to talk to me because at one time, I was a great cusser. You know? I mean, I'm just saying. Filthy mouth. So what makes that least and then that, no, that's us categorizing sin. But my main purpose is I just tell people, preach the word. If you preach the word, you ain't got to worry about putting your own opinions on it and what I think is big, what I think is little. You say what Christ said, and then that's it. And if anybody got a problem with what he said about whatever sin, then you take it up with him and not me. I didn't write the news. Mm -hmm. I just reported. That's right. That's right. I always say a sin is a sin is a sin is a sin. And I will say I have no heaven or hell to put you in. If I did, you still wouldn't want to go to my heaven because if I can put you in, I can take you out. <laughs> so, a sin, like I say, a sin is a sin is a sin is a sin. Just because I may not be doing what you are doing, I can still be sinning and it's the same difference. All righty, so we all know we have all sinned and fallen short, and we're going to sin again, and we thank God for saving us for all of our sins.